Have you ever felt intimidated after giving a decision for a, a goal or a red card? No. <laughs> Not easy to intimidate me. What a character. He had everything. Like he was he was kind, he was rude, <laughs> yeah. he was arrogant, yeah. he was brilliant. He like what a personality and what like I was fortunate enough to meet him a few times, but there's loads and loads of stories about him. And I gotta tell you this, Jim. Mark Crosley told me this, he was in the room. It's it, it's out it's, a, it's this is a lesson for any footballer. Stuart Pierce gets picked for England, right? So He's asked Piercy, when can he get back after the game? It was a Tuesday night game. When can he get back in time for training? Yeah. So he said Thursday, four o'clock. Thursday? Thursday? So he, Thursday comes along, he calls a meeting, gets all the players in the dressing room, and he puts a towel down on the floor and a football on it. He always used to put a towel on the floor with the ball, and he'd kick the ball off the towel and say, that's when we play with the ball on the floor. So he, puts the pl he comes in with a plastic bag, there was obviously something heavy in the bag and he puts the ball on the towel and now he walks back to the back of the dressing room and he says young man to Stuart Pearce how do you think you played for England in midweek he said I done all right he said I didn't think so <laughs> I thought you were shocking <laughs> what do you think lads and they'll, nobody said anything so he's so he's gone there uh, well our captain lads is a fraud <laughs> <laughs> so Pacey said what do you mean he goes well on last week's program page nine bottom left corner there's an advert in there Stuart Pierce electrics explain what what's that <laughs> he said well what, I, when I was playing non-league we had electric electrical family business and I'm just trying to keep the business going lads our captain's a fraud <laughs> he said what do you mean he said well if my barbara rings that number are you going to answer it if her light bulb's gone in her house? <laughs> he said, no, be my brother. Well, you're a fraud then, son, because it says you'll come. <laughs> and if and if, if you're any good at that, he opens the bag, takes the bag over to him, takes an iron out of the bag. My Barbara's iron is broken. <laughs> Fix it by Saturday or you're not playing. <laughs> Walked out. <laughs> so Pierce, he's fixed the iron. He's fixed it. And put it on his desk Saturday he morning to, the yeah, to make sure he played. That's how you get your feet back on the ground. <laughs>